Okay, guys, um, we are still positioning the lighting and everything. I think this light is too, is too bright. Yeah. Hmm. How is it? Okay. Uh, so how are you all doing? I hope I'm on the right location. How are you all doing? I'm in the process of doing a nail last hair and we want to change the way it looks. We wanted to go sit on the couch or we were like sit on the floor we couldn't figure out so hi everyone if this is your first time joining us my name is shola and welcome to discovery natural channel normally we do this in the bathroom but um this is going to be a long process and i said well while it's long and i still have to go live let's do a chit chat if you have any questions i can be answering while i'm doing your hair hey hi all the way from scotland how are you welcome to our game room we don't normally film in this area but um yeah let's start doing it so our hair has been washed and i shampooed our hair using cream of nature uh, moisturizing shampoo and i have a question okay you have a question about hair matting that i really okay so let me see somebody had a question about hair matting that i really need help with okay so um if your hair is matting i would say number one when does it mat and um if it's matting uh make sure you're moisturizing it use a conditioner when you're washing it wash your hair in sections those are the uh those are the answers i can give you those are what has helped me sit up those are what has helped me so now um i shampooed her hair and i also did a uh, deep uh, protein treatment for her and for the protein treatment i used the shea moisture manuka one okay so someone else had a question let me let me use this to read the questions that you guys have i'm gonna use my other phone to read the question so bear with me one second and your lamb, wear your glasses. Yeah. <laughs> These are your glasses. These are my glasses. Okay, let me go online and I'll read the questions that you guys have. Let's do this. Okay. So, the question, somebody had a question. They said, um, I have been sick for four, mm, I have been sick for four months and wasn't able to detangle my hair and it's matted and I don't know what is the first step. First step is... If you've been your hair has been tangled up just put a spray it with water put a conditioner and let it sit and then go gently and detangle it if you don't have the strength to do that please have somebody do it for you okay so I hi to everyone uh, my hair is fussy I'm very tightly cool conditioner is your friend a, a good a conditioner that we have used like you can use vo5 you can use suave suave conditioner is really good so our hair is clean thoroughly thoroughly clean so what i'm doing now is i'm going to i'm going to use a leave-in conditioner in our hair before we even start the process so i'm working in sections when it comes to our hair is 4c and when it comes to hair like this you want to and any other kind of hair you want to work in sections all the time okay so i'm gonna use my other phone to answer your questions so when any questions pop up i'm gonna be able to say because the ring light is very far away from you all so this is the living conditioner that we used so this is shea moisture raw shea butter restorative conditioner uh it's kind of bright you can't see it well but that is the conditioner we used hey hello and uh, if you guys have any issues and you want to show pictures of your hair, please join our Facebook group. And our Facebook group is called Discovery Natural Group. And it's on Facebook. Join it. Um, don't be afraid to comment and post on that group because in that group, we do not discriminate. And you won't be... You know some groups they'll be posting things that are not hair related we don't do that in the group we always post hair related stuff or ask our people to post hair related stuff so tiana said my last question for madden should i use conditioner with hair oil or just conditioner start off with just conditioner so um a conditioner let me see if tolani please can you come let me ask my other daughter to bring the conditioner please thank you 
So I'll show you the conditioner that I really like, or two of them, and then you can decide which one. Um, and and that's because you're gonna use a lot of conditioners, so and you don't want to waste money. Um, you see on the slab over there, bring those two air yeah, products over there. Mm -mm, turn around over oh. there. Yeah, thank you, baby. You live? Yes, I'm live. Okay, so Shady says, what is the cute? What is a cute protective style to do when your hair is thinning out? And how can I restore my edges? Okay, first of all, this is the conditioner I'm talking about. So you could use VO5. So this is VO5. VO5. Or you could use Suave. So this is Suave. See this green one? That's the Suave. I'm sorry. If I bring it too close, it won't focus because I'm on my thing. So boys, Suave. You can get it at the dollar store, family dollar, dollar general, anywhere. So now I'm just putting more conditioner in her hair. A cute style you could do with edges. You could pretty much do any style, but when you're doing the style, try not to make it too tight on the edges. So that's one thing you should do. And how do you restore your edges? For me, I like Jamaican black castor oil. This is the Jamaican black castor oil we use. It's called IQ Natural Jamaican black castor oil. I don't know why it's so dark oh see i'm trying to oh <coughs> sorry i'm trying to do it so that the light doesn't make it too dark see because this is a place where we've not done but this iq natural jamaican black casserole let me go and turn on tolani <laughs> my poor daughter is gonna say you guys are just calling me all the time let me try and I don't know. Okay, well, it's called IQ Natural. Now, for the edges, if you search on our channel for Discovery Natural, search YouTube for Discovery Natural edges, I have a lot of videos that will teach you what to do. And I have an edge care routine that has helped a lot. It's helped me, it's helped my daughter. So please check it out. Okay, so Tiana says, the conditioner that I have right now is Aleke Natural Deep Conditioner. No, you don't want to use a deep conditioner when you're trying to get your hair matted. Just use a normal rinse out conditioner, a cheap one. Um, and the reason why you don't want to use a deep conditioner is because you are not, your hair is not yet at the process of deep conditioning. Okay, your hair is not yet at that process. You first want to detangle it. So you want to use a good detangler and stuff. So... Yay! Hey, Bethany! You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Dora. Hi, everyone. If I didn't say hi to you, hi. I don't think I missed anybody's questions. Yeah. So, that's what you want to do. Okay, so after shampooing your hair, after using a deep conditioner, rinsing your hair, always use a leave-in conditioner. And I find that for us, when we use a leave-in conditioner, it helps with retaining moisture throughout the time she has a style in you're welcome so now i'm just going section by section try here and i'm just applying the living conditioner so, gosh all our hair products today i finished like two hair products no three hair products already so their hair takes up so many so much products so you can see i'm not yet using an oil yet in my hair I'm first of all just putting the conditioner, letting that sit in there. This conditioner, I'm not gonna rinse out. So I won't be rinsing this one out. Although this conditioner here is like a multi-purpose conditioner. You could rinse out, you could decide not to rinse out. Will Sleepy Helm and Marshmallow Root DIY deep conditioner work for matting? Yes, anything, the key thing about matting is that anything, anything that um, is slippery, anything that will up with minimize the tangles will work now if your hair is already washed and you are now in the process of styling it and it's matting use a product that you can leave in okay so use a product you can leave in and um try doing that so but a product with yeah okay i don't have any cheap deep con okay yeah so the reason why i don't want you to use a deep conditioner is because with matted hair um you'll just be wasting <laughs> wasting money and wasting stuff i'm moving shedding hair for my hair because uh 
with a deep conditioner they are way expensive and if you use a lot of it you know they're expensive cheap conditioner you can get it for a dollar two dollars i don't know where you're living but yeah i actually what will be a good DIY living conditioner? I haven't really found a deep conditioner what my hair loves. Oh, actually, actually, I have a playlist on this channel called DIY. And on there, I have a playlist, a video for any hair product, any DIY hair product that you might be thinking of. So I even have one called DIY living conditioner. So check it out and the video will teach you how to make one that is one that me and my kids we've used when we can't when we when we're now buying a new one oh uh, thank you imperfect izzy thank you celeste says have you ever tried us shampoo conditioner like mane and tail i used mane and tail when i was relaxed i have not used it since uh and will i ever use it i don't know so i use it when i was relaxed okay um and but i think didn't they make a new one i think didn't they upgrade lift up your head a little bit baby thank you i don't know if they upgraded or so oh thank you ashley thank you i really appreciate it thank you oh you're so nice oh is it from england oh Thank you. You know what, you guys, let's talk. Let's talk. You guys are like my sisters and brothers. I truly appreciate you all. I appreciate all the thumbs up. So you guys have given me uh, how many thumbs up? 13 thumbs up. And I appreciate all those 13 thumbs up. I appreciate even you spending your time with me. I know you can be doing something else, but I do appreciate it. And I'm so grateful for the love you show me. And even on my family channel, DM Vlogs Life, a lot of you go to that channel to get to know us more. I know that China, you get to see me doing stuff, cooking, you know, taking the kids places and just having fun. But you guys just show so much love and I promise there are a lot of videos coming up soon. It's a lot of work doing YouTube and I appreciate even you all that are just sitting at home and just watching. It's just a blessing and I pray, me and my daughter, my daughter will tell you that we pray for you guys all the time. Every night we're praying for our friends online and I just pray that all the things you've asked for in 2019, before the year runs out, in Jesus' name and whoever you believe in, I just pray that it will come to fulfillment and it will be good things, okay? No bad stuff. Don't be asking for bad stuff, <laughs> okay? So I just have to say that because I feel privilege to even have even if, if one person watches my video i feel privileged i know sometimes like i'll put so much work into a video and then not a lot of people watch it and i'll start feeling bad and i'll be like sure i don't feel bad those one people two people three people that watched it aren't they people couldn't they be doing something else so i appreciate you guys for watching it i know i don't get a ton of views like some other people they'll put out video in one minute they'll get ten thousand i mean i'll put out video in two days you'll get like one thousand views or less I still appreciate you guys so thank you for your love thank you for subscribing thank you for clicking that notification bell you know all of you that have done that I appreciate you guys the love you show me on my family channel DN vlogs vlogs life I know I bring out videos every day except Sunday because Sunday is for God and I just appreciate you guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart I appreciate you okay let's see I know people are asking questions but I just feel in my heart to say that to you guys I'm trying not to cry <laughs> but I really appreciate it I'm so emotional anyway let me move along <laughs> okay okay let me move along um what are the questions uh okay so uh let's see is it says why does my hair break there are different reasons why your hair is breaking first of all before you say your hair is breaking I want you to determine is it really breaking or is it um shedding because shedding is like when your hair just comes out normally is it excessive and then if your hair is breaking is it because you are not moisturizing your hair enough is it because you are not eating the right food there are different things that can cause that is it also because you are combing your hair while it's dry okay so let's stop so those are some reasons so this is our hair right now look up at them and turn hair and see we put the conditioner so the conditioner is sitting on our hair so now i'm going to massage our scalp with oils and i'll talk about the oils and we'll come back to questions so this is our hair oil bottle 
I like it because it has this comb thing at the tip. If you want to know more about hair products and everything, check our Amazon page. It is called amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural. So in here is almond oil. I also put some of this Jamaican black castor oil and then a mixture of hair growth oil, the body cake, um, be natural hair growth oil. And this is all the stuff that is in here this has really nice nutrients for hair growth for strengthening the hair for the scalp health and that's why we use it especially in the summertime for dry scalp all the information about this i've done videos on it so just search online for it so what i do is i just take this i just put it like that and then i'm gonna give our scalp a massage so this is why i'm doing the conditioning first um leaving conditioner first because that will give the hair time to soften time to get the nutrients and now this is isn't this your favorite time mm -hmm. so this is our favorite time because mommy's fingers is gonna start doing magic so i'm just gonna put my fingers in our scalp sometimes we use a machine sometimes i don't and then i'm just going gently i'm walking okay look up. i'm walking from this from right here and i'm just walking and i'm not scrubbing it like that i'm just walking softly and hopefully she won't fall asleep so and sometimes i will cup my hand on her scalp like that and then i'll just walk like that and it's very relaxing and it smells so nice pepperminty this stuff let me this stuff right here is so good it's the body cake be natural if you want to get it i have a coupon code for 10 percent off so if you want to get it let me know and it's body cake llc and the coupon code is natural 10 one zero natural 10 we've been using it now for i want to say four years or so and um whenever it's the winter time especially i purchase it because it helps a little bit goes a long way okay so let's go on to the next question how is her hair so long i hear actually she's been trimming it she's keeping it a particular length and it used to be like tailbone length but i think she's been trimming it um which is fine you know she's a teenager but she takes good care of her hair uh how does she care for her hair go to our channel she has her own channel and what's your channel's name just eniola our channel is called just eniola that's just e-n-i-o-l-a and she has a ton of videos so if you're a teenager if you're in high school check out her channel yeah Okay. Um, oh, you're yeah, welcome, Tracy. Thank you so much for checking out Printed Bonnet. Printed Bonnet, that's where we um, that's where we get our bonnet and stuff. Do you ever steam your hair? No, I've not steamed my hair. Uh, I don't know. I just, I've gone this far without steaming. So I'm always thinking that, oh, that's another additional thing I got to do to my hair. So you can see I'm going very gent gently. Sometimes I get arthritis in my fingers. So sometimes I use the massage thing, okay? So I'm just gonna keep on doing this. I do this for about five minutes or so, you know, on wash day especially. Then other days she does it herself when she remembers. Hi, Jenny's Simple Method. Oh my goodness, you guys. So check out Jenny's Simple Method. She shows how to make different oils. You see all these oils I'm showing? Some of these oils, you can make them at home so easily. So Jenny's Simple Method, methods china she showed like the other day she did something with orange oil and then oh i think she did pumpkin seed oil now I, jenny were, were you the one that did pumpkin seed oil because this also contains pumpkin seed oil and pumpkin seed oil is very good especially if your hair is breaking um it's really really good for it so okay let's see oh uh, and and jenny i like jenny's channel and a lot of other people like lovely me tll thank you so much dora there are people that the way i'm remembering their name is because they're like part of the family if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe and uh they also are members of our family channel dm vlogs life they follow us on instagram so we are on instagram so many places even if you have linkedin we are on linkedin you know i just i my love language, can you guys, guys guess what my love language is? 
my love language there are five love languages there is the love language of um, act of service so my godly love language is act of service that's why I love helping people supporting people and sometimes I it's like you know if I see somebody in need and I just feel so bad and the spirit leads me because you no know, there are some people that you know the spirit doesn't lead you to do something at that time and when you the spirit doesn't lead you to do something at a particular time it might be the wrong time it's not that you don't want to help somebody out but it might be the wrong time to do that and so you have to always wake up every morning and pray that god whatever my my mind whatever you want me to do please let me do the right thing so they don't get into the hands of deceivers okay okay let's move on oh thank you so much tiana thank you so much Hi, Victoria. How are you doing? So, Victoria says, I'm a new natural. I'm recently out of TWA. So, TWA stands for Teeny Winnie Afro. So, she's just out of it. What tips can you give me for strengthening and growing my hair? So, if I can give you an advice, I will say incorporate protein treatment. Um, try and do a moisture protein balance. So, what that is, is that, and I have videos on it look in our playlist you'll see a playlist for protein treatment and you'll get all the information what products to use join our facebook group if you're newly natural join our facebook group discovery natural group you will not regret it i tell you i have two lovely ladies that help me on that group to moderate so you won't get bad people you know attacking you and even if you have issues you let me know immediately i'm so devoted to creating a community that is safe um so do a protein treatment and you can when do you do a protein treatment look in that playlist i talk about when to do a protein treatment and also i have a playlist called natural hair growth are you asleep already mm -hmm, yeah. oh she's sleeping <laughs> and um so such that uh, playlist natural hair growth for so many tips eat green healthy foods drink water and don't stress yourself don't try and hurry up the process of um oh gosh this is so relaxing don't try and hurry up the process of doing growing hair okay uh so let's go oh thank you thank you so much lovely me TL. thank you so much for moderating this call so now we finished massaging a scalp we finished conditioning it now it is time to style our hair but let me ask let me answer some questions so stella hi stella oh that's my mom's name stella i like it I, and stella i know you get this all the time you know stella <laughs> okay let me stop that's from that movie okay hi beautiful hi gorgeous you gorgeous <laughs> okay she said what are some ways I can boost my rice water rinse for hair growth? Now, when it comes to rice water rinse, keep on doing what you're doing. You can add lavender oil to it. You can add rosemary oil to it. And I would just say, also, look more into what you're eating, your nutrients and stuff. Um, yeah, so just use rice water as a side, you know, like a side dish to hair growth. Hair growth also has to do with what you eat on the inside and try not to over manipulate your hair too much. Put your in protective styles. That's what we're doing for her and stuff. Okay, so I've taken all this out. I'm gonna answer more questions. Our hair is already detangled when I was um, detangling before I shampooed our hair. So to do the crochet style, we're going to do a crochet style for her, but I'm going to start off by braiding out her hair. And the braid pattern I'm going to do is I'm coming down this way and I'm coming down this way. So um, I'm going to section her hair. And I'm sorry if you can't see so well. It's just that I can't zoom in too much unless you guys will be able to see my face. And it's going to be very awkward. So do you want the twist to come like this? Or how do you want your hair to fall, the twist to fall? Um, like... You want middle? No, like to the side and then some here. And that's why we're doing this way. Okay, oh, so okay. it's going to be like that. So I'm just taking the arch of our eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to do it like this. Okay. And so... um, And I'm going to come this way. 
so I'm not gonna make the cornrows too thick because I don't want okay you have to shift your body a little bit like that thank you okay this will be nice so I'm gonna take it going this way like that okay so the key thing is this one I want the part to be very very clean very very clean and her scalp looks really clean she does have eczema um so if i'm moving some stuff it's just for my eczema and her eczema flares out mostly in the winter time because the winter time like she has a little bit of a patch right here so winter time is when it flares out and, and on my face and on her face so yeah okay so this one i'm gonna bring this like this and then i'm gonna cut this Mm, let's see how we're gonna do this okay and then I'm gonna bring this down like that so I'm just bringing this all the way down like this okay so let's answer some more questions what leave-in conditioners do you recommend uh, if you go on amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural I have a list of recommended uh, leave-in conditioners I do like this one. This one is a good one. Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. We've used it. Uh, Cream of Nature is really good. It depends on how expensive you want to spend. Um, I believe Sultanical also has one. So Sultanical's... What is that one? Nut Sauce is also good. Uh, now if you want liquid, because it depends, you want liquid one or you want a creamy one. So liquid one, Kadima is also good for liquid. I think that's the only liquid one I've used before. So I'm just doing this. Okay, so now I'm going to pack this away. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Dora. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Hi, Sybil. And do you ever miss being relaxed? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Just because well, relaxed hair doesn't. When I was relaxed, my hair was breaking so much, and my hair always stopped here when I was relaxed, just on my shoulder. It didn't grow any longer. So, ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now with our hair, I've already parted it, and this is how I parted it. You can see it right over here. Okay. So this part is much cleaner than back there. I didn't want to stress it too much. So I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to... Let me take off my glasses. I think I can... You know what? Let me put on my glasses so that I'm not taking it off. I'm putting... And I'm just going to start over here. I always drop a comb. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's like, okay, I'm just waiting for when you're going to drop a comb. So I'm just going to take the hair and we're going to conroe it. When you are doing crochet don't conroe too tightly because when you conroe too tightly the hair is not going through okay so let me just do this and then i'm gonna take do you have a hair tie mm -hmm. okay and take another hair tie and just put this away and now this is what we do so now our hair, we're going to conroll this one. So all that is in here is a, is a living conditioner, right? So next, I'm going to take the oil, this oil. I'm just going to take a little bit of it, not too much. I'm going to put that to the hair. And then I'm going to take my cream that I'll be using. The cream that I'm going to be using is, um, just one second. I'm just doing something okay so the, the cream I'm going to be using is the Kadima curl defined pudding and that's because we're nearly finished with it and I'm just trying to use up stuff so it's pretty much shea butter based okay we're just gonna take some of it not too much Put it to the ends now this is one thing that helps with hair growth keeping the ends of the hair moisturized so i always target the ends of the hair are you guys still seeing me i'm not seeing any comments coming through mm -hmm. i always target the ends of the hair and then i'm putting it to the length of the hair now i'm going to start combing again to help minimize tangles 
to help Miss Mice Tangle. So, I want to ask you guys, what is the your favorite protective style that you've done for yourself? What is your favorite protective style? So, for people that ask about, thank you, hi Titi, uh, that ask about edges. You see our edges here? You see, this is the length of our edges. I don't want too much tension on our edges. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm holding it softly. I'm not making it too tight. Even the corn roll, I'm not making it too tight because she's not wearing this corn roll out. She's just wearing it for the crochet style. So whoever is gonna do your crochet, tell them not to do the corn roll too tight because when they do it too tight, it will cause uh, pain especially when the corn roll has to go, when the crochet has to go through. So it will cause pain. So let me see. Do you guys want me to zoom in to what I'm doing? Or do you like it? Is it okay the way I'm doing it now? Please help me out. This is the first time that I've done the hair in this room, in our game room. Because I always do it in my bathroom. So do you want me to zoom it in? Hi, Abina. And at the end of the hair, I'm going to do twist. And I'm doing twist so that it will be easy when we're, when we're um, taking it down. So that is one down and many to go. Yeah. So she's having, uh, what's it, passion twist? Mm -hmm. It's passion twist. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so this one, I'm going to not use the air type for this. I'm just going to use my... Okay, so sh should I leave it like this or should I... So I'm going to take another one. Okay. I'm going to do another one like this. You can see how I'm coming down in a slatting, slatting motion. So I'm going like that. I just really want to try Kinky Twist. Do you recommend that? Yes, Kinky Twist is good. Yeah. Um, the key thing is, if you wear Kinky Twist, if you put it in and leave it for a long time, it could lock up in your hair. That's the only issue I have. That's why I prefer crochet. <laughs> I prefer crochet, and crochet for me doesn't damage your hair as much as if you are intertwining your hair with the extension. So that's why for my kids, uh, yeah, we've done and then any protective style you do make sure they're not doing it too tight That is the key thing because when people do hair too tight that is when it's breaking you can zoom just a little bit Okay, let me try and zoom just a little bit. So forgive me. The camera is gonna make a movement right now Okay, I'm gonna readjust settings Okay um, let me see what else I can do. I'm gonna turn my ring light. Okay, Nella, just stay, the, okay. stay the way you are. Let me turn my ring light. Oh, my hand is slippery <laughs> from the. Okay, I'm gonna turn it just like that. Okay. Is that? Oh, this is better. Okay, I'm not gonna zoom too much. Okay, I think this is. Is that better? You guys, tell me please. Is this better? Um, if only I had it. Yes, okay, so now, I think you are doing your homework. Oh. I tell you, you're not doing your homework. Okay, that's fine. So now, this is the corn roll that we did. Oh, good, good, good. So because I have the ring light and everything. So this is the corn roll that we did. You can see our ends, our edges, I'm not, I'm not doing so much to our edges. You can see. I'm not making it slick. I'm not putting gel. I'm letting our edges be. You don't have to. And please, if somebody is doing your hair, please tell them not to pull on your edges. Please, please, please. Okay. So, um, can I have one of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put this over so that... Okay. Uh -huh. The reason why I'm putting this over my lap is because... My pants is black and my shirt is black and you won't be able to see the hair contrast. So I hope this is much better for you. Is that much better, you guys? Is this much better, me putting... Let me know. I want to know. 
me putting this over is that much better so this is our hair so we're gonna take an oil again this is the oil and this oil is a mixture of two oils the oils we mixed in was the IQ natural Jamaican black castor oil which is on our Amazon shop amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural and then body cakes being natural is for the scalp so I'm just taking that and I'm just putting that in the oil putting the oil in the hair now that the light is better can you please show us the products again yes I'll show you the products again um, I shampooed that hair with cream of oh, I don't I cream of nature pure honey shampoo and then I used uh, let me let me go and get the products talk to them say hi to them I'm gonna go and get the hi. products <laughs> um, Wow there's a lot Tell of them about your China. Oh, okay. So my YouTube channel, it's pretty much about lifestyle and um, pretty much my daily life. Like one video that I uploaded yesterday was my, what's on my iPhone 8 plus. And yeah, that's pretty much what my channel's about. This is a weird way to look at the camera. But um, yeah, my channel is pretty much for anyone that's like, just wants not like a daily vlogger but like just something to watch and you guys should check it out and it's just eniola j-u-s-t-n no j-u-s-t-e-n-i-o-l-a okay so before i started doing our hair i shampooed our hair with cream of nature this stuff here oh that's what let me see is it cream cream of nature oh it's still not Okay, cream of nature. This is what it looks like. Okay, cream of nature, pure honey shampoo. This one. And then I did a protein treatment. Now this protein treatment, this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. Okay, this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. And this product doesn't require you to use uh, another product afterwards. So, and then, uh, yeah, and then the oils. So, okay. So now I'm going to get the cream. This is the Kadima Organic Products Pure um, Curl Defined Pudding. Okay, it's kind of yeah, that's not helping. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's how you spell that name. You spelled it right. So you can see this. I'm just rubbing on my hand, putting it to the ends of the hair. Okay, the ends of the hair is very important. So I always put more products to the ends of the hair. Okay, Onye, Onye, oh, Miss Nwachuku says, please, any hair product, hair growth for routine for baby girl. I need one. For the baby, I will see, make sure the baby is getting fed nutritious food. I'm always someone that starts off with what is inside. Um, make sure the scalp is getting cleansed thoroughly. And then lastly, you could try using jamaican black castor oil but please test it out a little bit uh try using natural products try not to put too much products on the scalp where it will clog up the scalp and just try not to when you do the hair try not to overstress the hair by putting an extension i hate i hate so much when people put extensions on baby girls on baby mm. oh my goodness I just, and then they put it too tight And it's on just the so edges. tight on the edges. Oh, and I'm like, God. oh. So, you can see I'm going softly. I'm not making it too tight at all. Okay. So, so you recommend a living conditioner oil scalp? Yes. Yes. I recommend that. Because the hair is going to be in a style where you want, before you put in a protective style, you want to... Put as much nutrients in the hair, you know, moisturize it, make it as much conditioned, and by so doing, it will minimize breakage. So all this stuff I'm doing, if you notice, I said I did a protein treatment for her. I always do a protein treatment before I style hair in protective style. Because when you do a protein treatment, it strengthens the hair, and it also reduces the breakage um, experience. So that's why, that's why we do it. I don't like what... Oh, yes. Actually, when they... Oh, my goodness. When I walk around and I see 
babies with extensions in their hair, two year old, three year olds, and I'm just like, I just wanna go and just take it out, <laughs> you know? Oh gosh, my daughters, I think the first time I ever put extension in my daughter's hair, I think she was like, how old? Nine, eight? I don't oh, know. Yeah, that was... And yeah, kinky twist. And we used yarn because it was much gentler, I believe. And uh, yeah, and she wore it for two weeks <laughs> and then she took it out. So yeah. So, um, and then Onye, Onye, I hope I'm saying your name right. Sorry if I'm not. Sorry. Please have a section called um, Baby Hair Care. So please check it out. How long can you go in protective style before you should take it down? For me, I always say, if you are not going to be washing the hair, because we actually, while I hair in protective style, we actually wash it. I'll say a month. I'll say four weeks. And she, this style, I'm hoping this style will last her four weeks because she has a lot of, show them your homework. She has a lot of projects. She has homework. So that's why we're in this position right now. She oh, has, you guys can't even see. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. She has con so she's writing essays right now. She has a lot of competitions that she's doing. So the best thing for her right now is to have her hair in a protective style. Something so. that I don't always have to like do like so like in the morning. In the know? morning, yeah. So that's why. So I'll say, you know, gauge the way. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. So you see, you see our edges. You see I'm not, I'm not manipulating it so much. So I'm just going to. Okay, can you look up a little bit? So then, yeah, she's getting tall, so I can't. Sometimes it's like I have to tilt up. So I'm just trying to con roll this. Okay. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not too tight? No. Okay, good. Let me know if I'm doing it, holding it, doing it too tight, okay? Okay. Do you need any water or anything to drink? No. Okay. Yeah. So, because if she needs water... We have to make our our <laughs> client comfortable. Because if our client is not comfortable, huh? You know, that's when they'll be touching. How much? How much is left? How much is left? Yeah. My finger is slippery. I hope this comb doesn't fall off again. Because of all the oils and butters I am adding to your hair. So oh so now I'm just doing another same pattern part pattern? Part. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going like that. You can see, turn around, turn. Okay, so you can see the same pattern. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now take my clip, clip it away. Okay, so now someone says, uh, Ver uh, Victoria, oh, that's my grandma's name, says, uh, I have low porosity hair. Do you recommend still doing protein treatment? Yes, I have low porosity hair. So protein treatment once a month. You can do protein treatment once a month. This product, if you can ever get this product, this product is really good. If you don't, if you can't find it online, look on our Amazon shop, amazon.com slash shop slash discover natural. This is excellent if you are low porosity. Let me tell you why this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate plus repair protein power power treatment is good is because it is balancing moisture and protein so it hydrates and it also adds in the strengthening so it will keep your hair soft but it will also strengthen your hair at the same time so i use it i have even used this every other week okay and it hasn't done anything bad to me it's a very very good i put my seal of approval on it to be honest with you and I don't do that so often. <laughs> this is actually our fourth jar. So this one is finished. See, when we finish stuff, we finish stuff. Like, look at it. Look. <laughs> yes, we finish it. Like, I scraped it. And it works on high porosity hair. And it also works on low porosity hair. Okay? Works on everybody's hair. So. So, um, yeah. Okay, what am I doing? I have sister lock. Is it good to use aloe vera oil? Yes. So you can use aloe vera oil if you have sister locks. That is also good. Um, I have to do something. Let me share this to my... 
can somebody somebody that is in the facebook group okay dora or somebody or um, anybody that is a member of our facebook group discovering natural group can you guys help me with something please help me share this live chat on the facebook group discovering natural group so that other people can know and they can come and ask their questions and we can help them out you remember when the service of helping so one thing when you are doing hair that is like 4b 4c some hair and even type 3 i have a friend that i do a daughter's hair and um a daughter has type 3a mixed with 3c and it tangles up so easily people will say oh it doesn't tangle yeah it tangles up and then i think she also has a little bit of 4a so it tangles when you are doing hair that tangles up so easily take your time don't rush through it okay and don't always think that oh because the hair is tangling it's time for a trim especially when you've trimmed the hair recently don't always think that it's time for a trim so i personally i don't come roll fast because I want to take my time. I'm not in. I'm not in like any rush to <laughs> get the hair done. As long as the person I'm doing the hair is not complaining and crying and yeah. all that stuff, it doesn't even hurt. Yeah, it doesn't hurt because my hand is not hurt. People always say they love my hand. That my hand is soft. If you live in the city of Houston, Texas, and you ever want me to come and hang out with you, send me a message on my Facebook page, Discovery Nat Natural. Yesterday. We had the lovely privilege to go grocery shopping with a subscriber. So there was a subscriber that um, she wanted to just hang out with us for the day. So we're like, well, we are going grocery shopping. If you want to hang out with us, you are going grocery shopping with us. So I'll be posting the video on our family channel, DN Vlogs Live. So if you are not a member of our family channel, if you've not subscribed, you already subscribed to Discovery Natural. What's another channel, right? So you can... Subscribe to our family channel. Where's your phone? Can you go to the channel so that I can show them some stuff on the channel? Okay uh, Someone says thank you so much lovely me Taylor. Thank you so much uh, Someone says can you link the protective um, pro Protein treatment in this video when you are free to do so. Yes, I can and Victoria You can also make a note send me a message on Facebook and I'll send you the information directly, one-on-one, -on -one, so that you don't have to be worried, like, when am I going to post it, when am I going to post it. And even if you don't have Facebook, if you have Instagram, you can send me, a, um, send me a message on Instagram and I'll post it for you. If you have any questions, you can always connect with me on Instagram. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Uh, and Facebook. And I always respond. The only time I won't respond is if I'm sleeping or cooking. <laughs> then you can see me cooking on my insta story on dn vlogs life on instagram <laughs> that's where you see me when i'm cooking cooking okay so okay oh yeah so this is our family channel i know you you might not be able to see it this is our family channel dn vlogs life uh this was one video that i did let me okay it's doing commercial and it can <laughs> ah. okay when make it bigger when once once it yeah I can once you finish going through commercial so this is my um okay ow oh sorry so my this bone. is like a day in my life and stuff yeah this one was when something nearly happened to me i nearly died sorry <laughs> I'm, I'm almost crying just thinking about it but this is what it looks like mm. <sighs> i know you guys can see it it's, yeah so this is what it looks like. So this is our family channel. Please be a supporter of our family channel. Check it out. And um, yeah, okay. So that's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another one. Let me see what. Pro protective styles at night. Can you spray, bottle, wet it, LOC it? Yes, okay. So let me tell you something. Protective styling at night. I have a playlist called Night Routine. I have a um, night routine for almost every style. If you are worried about moisturizing your hair, there's a playlist that I want you to check out and it's called Moisturizing Natural Hair. That shows how to moisturize any type of hairstyle. Think about the hairstyle. Twist out, I have a video on that. How to moisturize, braid out, I have a video on that. If you're how to moisturize, corn roll, flat twist, finger curls, um, crochet hairstyle, anything. You know, even I think roller sets is the only one I don't have a video on. 
but I do have a night routine on that. So please check out that playlist because that will give you the information you need and more information. Okay. Uh, so somebody put a cap, sleep cap on to sleep. A few weeks ago, I was told that I should never put her hair to bed wet. Um, the hair wet, I will say not soaking wet. Get a mister. A mist bottle, if you don't know what a mister is, it's a bottle that when you put water in it, it doesn't, it's not soaking wet. Um, I have the link to a mist bottle in on our Amazon shop. So on Amazon.com slash shop slash Discovery Natural, look in the hair tool section. You'll be able to see the spray bottle. Invest is a good investment because it doesn't soakingly wet your hair, especially in this cold weather. You don't want the hair to be soakingly wet. Now, I want to show you this braid pattern uh, that I'm doing. You see how I brought the hair going all the way down like this. Now, this one, I'm curving it like that, and I'm ending it near, okay, turn like this. I'm ending it near, almost near the crown of her head, and then I'm going to walk this down, okay? I'll show you the complete stuff. If you guys hang out with us throughout today as we do this, I'll show you everything. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've never trimmed. So let's put the oil. Remember? This eye here is still wet from being washed. So I'm just taking some oil right now. Putting the oil to the ends of the hair. Always go ends of the hair first and then walk it through the hair. And then I'm getting the cream. This is the cream. Okay. Starting off with the ends of the hair, this is what I always do. Always start off when you're moisturizing hair to the ends of the hair and then walk it through. Walk it through. Okay? Okay, so Dora says, please. Um, okay, so I need to make do something really quickly. Let me accept. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to go in because remember I told you about the group that we always accept okay so my admins oh my admins are so good they've already gone through and they've made changes admin activity they've made changes so now that you've put the stuff in now you want to detangle the hair you could finger detangle always come from the ends first and then walk your way through the length of the hair like that okay and you can also do it in sections so that you're not breaking the hair walk in sections so so Ooh. that was my stomach growling <laughs> nice. feed me feed me but we're gonna eat later i just want to get this done because then we'll record the video where we're putting in your first passion twist crochet hairstyle okay so now um i believe let me do this recent post okay okay yeah thank you so much kelechi thank you for sharing and thank you. Somebody else also shared. Dora, thank you for sharing. You guys are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing people in my building. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys are funny. Um, thank you. Uh, let's see. Please, my daughter doesn't like wearing the bonnet while sleeping. Yes, yeah, satin pillowcase. Now, if you don't know how to do a satin pillowcase, you don't have to buy one. Uh, search on here on YouTube for Discovery Natural Pillow. I have a way you can make it without even sewing it. Okay, so I have a way you can make it. You can see I'm going slowly. Can't roll. You can do flat twist if you're going to do crochet. You can also do flat twist. Okay, can you look? Uh oh, you're typing. I know. Look at this girl. She's even typing without looking. Uh oh, look at this girl. Let me see what you're typing. Anthony walked. What different women? Ah, there's a typo. Yeah, I became I successful. <laughs> there's a typo. Yeah. Anthony worked with different women. Okay, fix the typo. Ah, these children. They have apps that will tell them how to fix type. Ah, in nowadays, you'll be taking out dictionary to look and see what is the spelling for this, what is the spelling for that. Okay, so when the hair is tangling so much like that, get your comb. Okay, and then lightly comb it. Okay. okay comb it out because with this kind of hair it likes to tangle okay so 
and then we'll continue the process use your fingers to gently separate it you have to be very gentle okay let me see i'm just making sure i don't have any messages thank you miss ray hi soft bubbles how are you hey soft bubble you're on instagram right your name sounds familiar or was it you that left me a comment on the video your name sounds familiar there's so many people that are familiar here hi maria how are you doing how long does it take to do different styles it depends on how distracted i am <laughs> normally this thing that i'm doing here for five minutes i'm done <laughs> but because i'm talking to you guys i'm showing you guys things and then i'm telling her turn your head i'm making sure the camera is looking on my phone um is doing well so yeah it depends on how fast you are hi abina i don't know for everyone but for me it's a blessing knowing you hi abina abina is like my little sister i know thank you girl i have learned a lot about hair from you and i'm following that it's working well for me. oh good i've actually turn natural because of you oh i can't even see you <laughs> i couldn't see you thank my dear sister how are you thank you so much okay oh good hi venetia since you're here i'm gonna go thank you so much so let us say thank you to our lovely moderator called lovely Mitiel. she has been awesome moderating this um live chart so that i can focus on doing the hair and i believe renisha is renisha here renisha is taking over from lovely meteor thank you and renisha is one of our moderators also on the facebook group so also feel free to ask her questions um shout out to renisha she actually owns a jewelry store on facebook it is called twin city boutique if you look at my picture in my profile discovery um shola away that's my facebook profile you'll see i wore a jewelry to church today and i got so many compliments and then um also on my instagram page i did post a picture the earring that i wore and the necklace i wore is also from a jewelry store which is called twin cities boutique the cool thing about our hair ring and our jewelry is that they're only five dollars they also have bracelets and things for men they're only five dollars so this is a good christmas stocking christmas gift five bucks yeah and i've been using them for a long time i believe i've been using them for i want to say over about six months i think i don't know if i'm wrong i know it was before may yeah but i've been using them for a long time now so uh yeah check them out please let's patronize our sisters Okay, so someone says, thank you so much. I have to feed my grandma. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all your help. Lovely meeting. Okay, so now I have this section left. Remember? That's it. It stops right over there in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take the oil. I'm putting more oil this time because you have to understand hair. You have to understand some parts of your hair will get drier than other parts of your hair. This part of our hair itches the scalp in this area, right, Eniola? Mm -hmm. The scalp in this area itches more. So what I do is that I try not to overput products on this scalp area. If you look at it, you'll see that this area is not so moisturized with oil. And then this part of our hair, the crown area, always gets drier in terms of weather and um, it gets drier faster. Okay. Yeah, so that's the link to the hair shop um to the jewelry stuff by renisha renisha just posted it so nikki sweets hi nikki how are you hi what is good for children's hair to grow a good balanced nutritious food <laughs> greens <coughs> i need water tolani <laughs> i need water mm. hey t oh okay. i'll call her yeah call your sister <laughs> a good um nutritious meal so give them food that is rich in you know like greens like salads um carrots a lot of good foods i have a playlist called natural hair pro um group growth no natural hair growth see if i can't i can't talk oh, mommy wants water 
Say thank you. Say please. Mommy wants water. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm putting more. Well, she, she needs water. I though. need water. Please. Thank you, Tolani. Need... I need water. Your mother needs, needs water. water. <laughs> Your mother needs. Ah. Yes, in a cup. In a cup, not on your hand. You want to bring water on your hand? Look at this girl argue with us. I know she's watching her shows. Okay. So she's like, what's this one that these people are sending me up and down? <laughs> okay, so you see how I put more product on that side? Okay, so is she still talking to you? Tolani, I'm seeing you on FaceTime. She's in her room. You're in, she's in her room. She can't talk to us. <laughs> Can you give me a cup of water? Thank you. She just hung up. Okay. Yeah, because she's going to get me a cup of water. <laughs> you see the mug, the mug on top of my in my room. Use the mug. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at this girl. <sighs> Hi, printed bonnet by IOB. Someone actually. How long do the cornrows last? There's this. No water in your and just get water go from downstairs. the tap. Or go downstairs or wherever. Anyway. So this is gonna last. She's gonna have this. I'm hoping for a month. <laughs> so I'm hoping for a month, but you know, I depends. And your last sometimes she just changes her mind all the time. Hmm? We're hoping this will stay for a month, right? Yes. Okay. So now that I've really moisturized this side, I'm gonna start the tangle. Thank you, Talani. You're so wonderful. I know. You ah. I said, thank you, Talani. You're so Say wonderful. You. No, she said, I Say know. Thank Say thank you. Say thank you. I said, thank you. you. Eat, sleep, clarinet, repeat. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to stretch. Okay. Hello. I drank my water. Okay. So, we're going to keep on. So, you come from the ends of the hair. Always start off from the ends of the hair. Sometimes you see me come from this side just because I've come that side before. Come from the ends and walk your way up. Walk your way up. Um, the person that was asking about hair growth for children, I even have a video on that. So look in the playlist called Natural Hair Growth and you'll be able to see all the information. Yeah. My daughter's styles only last two weeks at most. I moisturize daily. Does the LOC mess it up? Um, you don't have to moisturize daily. It depends on what you are doing that is causing it to mess up easily. Now, one thing I'll suggest to you, I actually have a video on how to make hairstyles last longer. Um, if you search on YouTube, you can write it down. Search on YouTube for Discovery Natural Freeze. F-R-I-Z-Z. -Z. You will not regret it. A video is going to come up and that video will teach you what to do. Sometimes it also depends on the product you use. For example, if I want a style to last, like let's say she was going to wear this style out, okay? Um, she's going to have crochet on the style. That's why I don't really care or whatever. I use a little bit of gel. A little bit of gel helps a lot, okay? It will help keep the hair from freezing out and it will make it last longer. I was able to let my daughter's hair last, I want to say four or five weeks, my youngest daughter, my youngest daughter's hair messes up very easily. Within two weeks, it's messed up. But when I do this method, I can get it to last longer. So, hey, Ryan in the house. Ryan has joined us. Are you taking, Ryan is another of our moderator from Discovering Natural group on Facebook. You guys see, we have a family. It's a family. Um, so, if Renisha has to leave right now, Ryan will take over and stuff. But Ryan, thank you so much. I love, oh, thank you, Negative Zero. Hi, hi, Ashley. Ashley, you just joined us, huh? Hmm. Welcome. So Ryan says, I love how Shola does the girls here. I'm still trying to convince her to come to New York to help her sister out. Ryan, all next week I'm free. <laughs> Send me a ticket. Me and the girls will be in New York as long as Eniola can do her homework on the plane. Mm -hmm. we'll, be, we'll be in New York. We'll come and hang out with you for a couple of days. Ooh, we might have a, Oh, but we can't stay for Thanksgiving because my husband surprised us with something for Thanksgiving. So we'll talk about that on our family channel, DM Vlogs Live. You guys will see where we're going to go for Thanksgiving. I am so excited and stuff. <laughs> Dora says I'm going to Spain. You guys want to go to Spain? What products are you using? So right now, 
to come right here. I'm using a mixture of different, they're different oils. This is the IQ Natural Oil. And uh, then I'm using the Kadima. This Kadima Curl Defining Pudding. That will help with sealing in the moisture and stuff. And then I'm just congruing our hair and stuff. So this can remember it will stop at the crown area. And I'm not making it too tight. See, that's not too tight. You see it moves and our scalp moves with it. So it's not too tight because we're going to do the crochet and stuff. So anyway, okay. So the ends of it, I'm just going to twist it up like that. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, you've been here. Just say it. <laughs> all who says I okay 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 sorry <laughs> I'm like uh, that's what I was like I saw your name was familiar I'm like I actually you know I thought I answered the question for you but I don't uh, anyway see I'm getting old so <laughs> oh, <laughs> I always say I'm getting old <laughs> <laughs> How is your bum bum? <laughs> is this sore? Okay. So we've done this section like this. So this is what it looks like so far. You can see it's not tight like that. So now for this crochet style, we're going to come like this, bring this down like this. So for me to do that, I'm going to start at this area and walk my way down and walk it down like that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me start this one first. Mm, I'm going to start this one first like that. Okay, yeah, indecision. Okay, so now, um, so that, how should I do this? I'm trying to see. Okay, okay that's good. So now I'm going to get my rectal comb. Okay. Printed bonnet says, how do you handle with it when your curly hairs... <laughs> When your curly hair child wants her hair straightened, how do your girls handle peer pressure when it comes to hair? Now, this one, we're talking after church. What did you tell me after church? I was thinking of straightening, straightening, straightening? Straightening. Straightening my hair. So, so. she's 15 years old and she's going to get her hair straightened for the first time. And then for the first, I'm not doing it because I don't know how to do it anyway and so for the first time she's gonna somebody's gonna touch her hair other than me she has never had anybody touch her hair except Ooh, me i'm nervous you're nervous um so she wants to get her hair straightened i don't know when that's gonna happen because i have to book the appointment i don't even know how to book appointment i have someone in mind that i want to take her to just because i've gone to workshop seminars that this person has hosted and i have a good feeling about this person i've met her in person but I've never, ever, nobody else has touched my kids' hair except me. <laughs> or oh, this girl's hair except me. So it's going to be awkward. Somebody else doing her hair. I don't know. Anyway, but she wants, she's 15 years old, and she does her hair herself. And I told her, if your hair, it looks lovely. I told her, if your hair damages, it's on you. Um... She says, that's okay. I want my hair straightened. Now, how do you handle peer pressure? Talk to them. Tell them. Um, usually, I just relax. Don't, like, get freaked out about anything. You know what they're or, saying, right? Well, like, peer pressure. Like, if somebody's saying, oh, just straighten your hair. Oh, why does your hair look like that? Oh, why don't you ever do anything yeah, so, that natural with your hair? So, with peer pressure, just relax. Don't like stress over it just like do your thing don't let other people say you need to do this yeah. or okay so let me yeah. tell you something about my kids my kids they're one of those kids that they have a personality where they don't let things affect them so peer pressure doesn't really get to them so much but for children that have issues where peer pressure gets to them you know i will say as a parent you know you talk to your kid you explain to them you let them understand that they're Always tell your child that their hair is beautiful, you know. <laughs> Always tell your children that, oh, definitely do. Yes, we're going to be doing a video, going to the salon and stuff. Once I book the appointment, <laughs> because she just told me that today. Right when we stepped outside church, she's like, mommy, can I straighten my hair? And I said, it's your hair, you know. You can do whatever you want with it. 
it's your hair so what who am i and then this might be a learning if i hair gets damaged guess what it's going to be a learning experience and then guess what will happen if i hair gets damaged i rebuke it in jesus name but if i hair gets damaged i will finally have a video on heat damage because i don't have a, much of a video on that <laughs> so then i can do that so a couple of things i don't have a video on i don't have a video on straightening natural hair with heat <laughs> so i'm gonna have a video on that i don't have a video on heat damage i pray my hair doesn't get damaged I don't have a video on henna so that one i don't know when i'll have that unless somebody volunteers to teach me how to henna and i don't even think i need to do henna so hi katrine how are you she says that was any last kiss to say oh mom you're not old you're not old <laughs> yeah thank you thank you mm. see she finally says it hey he said please don't let them cut it when they straighten it please it's so beautiful let your mom trim it okay thank you for telling me that i didn't even know they do that hmm. thank you sibyl uh i simply excuse it happy sunday wow i can't wait to see the result i presume they use heat protector oh yes and i'm even going to bring my own heat protector and stuff Ooh. uh okay thank you that's helpful okay i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad jenny says you don't straighten with blow dryer before you can roll. Nope, I don't. I don't. Um, I've done it before. Like I've straight, I've uh, blow dried her hair before con rolling. And for me, it's like, eh. <laughs> so the key thing is to go slowly. And um, also what we do, this is, let me tell you what we do. Usually right after I wash her hair, I don't go straight into styling her hair like this. That's the secret. I'll put her hair to twist, let it rest for a day, and this is why. You see how I'm just encountering tangles? If I curl her hair right after washing, is not... This looks, to you guys, this looks very nice. To me, it doesn't look nice. To me, it looks messy. Um, if I, before I do her hair, I'll put it into twist, and that will help almost give it a blow dried effect then i'll let it wait and then i'll do the hair you know but i don't like this one is not clean for me and the reason why i'm doing it like this is because i'm gonna put it i'm gonna cover our cornrows with crochet anyway so it doesn't really matter you know if it looks nice or not okay someone says hi deborah welcome ma'am she's funny peer pressure doesn't but my daughter was like that hey Tony. okay Better. You don't straighten with blow dry. Be okay, okay, I've answered that. Okay, I've been natural for five years and I, I haven't straightened my hair. I'm afraid of it damage. Hey, I've been natural since for seven years now. This month, actually last week was my seventh year of Big Chop. I Big Chop my hair November 17, 2012. And I've never used... A blow dry um, I've never used the um, flat iron silk press because of that so uh, Trishiro me and you were <laughs> the same way exactly the same way Tolani mm -hmm. where are your manners did you say hi to the people, hi, people. Uh -uh. is mm -hmm. that to say hi to your hi, elder people. Uh -uh. no 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 Nigerian way <laughs> look at my that daughter's one. That one. <laughs> okay um okay so thank you for the clarification it sounds like you're stretching naturally first yes so first i will stretch it naturally maybe i will twist it or braid it or thread it sometimes i thread it okay so i'm coming down again okay so so Tolani, you see if i was gonna crochet your head this well we'll have to go through all this process okay <laughs> so and it's like my finger my finger won't let me do this. I don't want to crochet. Yeah, I know you don't want crochet. <laughs> so I had her hair in um, wash and go all last week. And then now, look at it. We still have to. She hasn't washed this. Since, so she just packed it like this for church. But girl, your hair is needs to be washed. Yeah, but it's not. It needs to be washed, but it's not dirty. No, it's not dirty. <laughs> it needs to be washed, but it's not dirty. It's just that it, it's a bit dry dry yes and it's not retaining what water it's not it's not retaining moisture oh. so when your girls listen girls when your hair is not retaining moisture 
and you keep on moisturizing and you're like oh but it's not dirty it's time to co-wash it you can co-wash it um just to add in some moisture to it but if you've used a lot of products i will suggest are you guys listening mm -hmm. i will suggest that you shampoo it and then deep condition okay. understood so ladies gonna, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so what are you gonna do with my hair your hair will be shampooed and deep conditioned okay okay um so let's do this okay so we've had i get a silk press and don't get heat damage oh that's good mm. i don't know much about silk press somebody actually wanted us to do silk press on the nail eyes here but i'm so nervous i'm, I'm so nervous, nervous too yeah what did you want silk? a silk was it silk press you wanted what's silk press? i don't know i'll talk to the lady because this lady she's very knowledgeable about natural hair um and she's based in Houston, Texas, and I've never yet talked to her yet. She follows us on Instagram, so I know when I contact her, she'll be, she'll be quite happy. <laughs> so, um, we, are, we just have to drive over to where she is, so that's the only thing. But it's okay. It's okay. For you, my love, I will drive. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, tell her she doesn't know when she wants to do it, and I don't even know if the lady has an appointment because, you know, this festive season... I told her that whenever you're going to straighten your hair and all that stuff, you want to do it not in the summertime because it's going to go poof. <laughs> and there will be my money down the drain because <laughs> you're going to go in to get your hair straightened. And then you walk out of the shop and guess what? Your hair is back in an afro. <laughs> like there goes my money. So I don't know how much you guys, how much is it to, hey, welcome back. Lovely meeting. How much is it to straighten? How much do you guys pay? You guys that have straightened hair before, please tell me how much do you pay? Have you tried Cur mm. Curveda? Oh, Caraveda, Caraveda products. Yes, I've tried Caraveda products. I've tried their creme brulee. I think they're based in Houston, aren't they? Or are they based in Houston or Atlanta? I live in Houston, Texas, so. But I've tried their creme brulee, and yes, it's very moisturizing. I've just not, I've, do they sell it in stores? I wonder if I can pick it up in stores. So I'm going softly. I can see our hair. Just once I conro it like this, this one wants to tangle and play with its friend. So I've never paid in Houston. Oh, they're in Houston. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. I did use their product long time ago, um, but I've not... You know, I wish that they'll contact me and we'll do a you know sponsorship or whatever. <laughs> Cause these girls want to go to college and I need to pay for their college. <laughs> so sponsored videos are good. Um some sponsored video, you know. <laughs> they pay in terms of giveaway, you know, then I do giveaway for people and stuff. So it's a lot of work being a YouTuber. <laughs> and um when people pay you the you know it's nice it's nice i know i know i don't get paid as much as some other people but i'm grateful for every every dollar every penny <laughs> okay so let's do this i've never paid to have my hair straightened no, no, i've no, always no. just done it yourself in low heat look i just 75 dollars using the monday special oh what's monday special <laughs> What? Monday special. What's Monday special? I don't know. Monday See, I don't know anything. I want to be, I, want, I went to a stylist that charged me $75 for wash, dry, um, wash, deep condition, dry, and flat iron. Okay, so people are saying $75. Okay, you know, this is so good. Um, uh, let's see. Somebody says, you work hard, I will appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Jenny. Okay, Mammy says, what is a big thing? That is important for their hair. A big thing that is important for their hair is Keeping moisture. Keeping it moisturized. What What is important for your hair? Keeping it moisturized. Talani, what is important for your hair? Um, Talk keeping, to them. Uh, keeping it moisturized. Keeping it moisturized. So that is big. So thank you. Any other questions anybody has? Monday special. Hmm. Okay, so you guys see the pattern? Okay, tell me a little bit. No, no, the other way. So this is the pattern that is coming. That's all. Is it clear? Yeah, so the pattern is coming. You can see it right over there. Okay. So sorry you guys can't see it just because the way she is positioned and I don't want her to hurt her neck. Okay. Like that. Yeah. You like that? You like that. <laughs> where's my comb? In your where's my comb? I don't know. Did I lose my comb? So this is what happens always. Okay, girl. Okay. 
What have you gotten yourself into? So now, someone says, uh, let's see. They offer Monday special. Ah, I need to go to a salon that has Monday specials. So I thought all salons are closed on Monday. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hmm. Okay. At times, my daughter's hair absorbs water quickly. So I assume it's hyperostate. Probably. That's kind of a characteristics of hyperostate hair. Okay. I told you I'm doing no more. When did you start playing games? Oh, oh uh, it's a, I'm taking a break. Ah, yeah. okay. A very short break. Oh, okay. A short break. This okay. is number five. Okay, so I'm just, oh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that the sizes are good size and stuff. So, um, hair salons are usually closed on Monday. Is that a special? Do it yourself. Oh, I can't, I don't want to do it myself, to be honest with you. I just don't want to, because I'm not profession enough to use that kind of heat and I don't want to damage. And then I want the I first experience to be a good experience where she gets a good result. And I think at this age, she needs to visit the salon. I've never visited. She's never visited the salon. More or less, she's never even had anybody, any aunties do her hair. Has anybody touched your hair apart yeah. from me? No. See, so I think at the age of 15, you should get under your, get away from your mother's wrapper and do your, get somebody to do your hair. Okay, so someone says, oh, um, what God. is the best way to recycle products that we've tried and doesn't <laughs> so work? Go, go, go. I have so much products. I'm an adopted mother. Okay, try. So, um, you could check out shelters. Uh, shelters would be a good one. Um, you could also use those products for other things. For example, sometimes I have been known to use conditioners that don't work for me as shaving cream. <laughs> um, I've also been known to use shampoos as a cleaner to clean my combs and stuff. So, but I'll say donate, give it to people. There's also a Facebook group called Crawl trader crawl trader that facebook group you can actually sell your products on there and make some money you know make some nice little change so crawl trader is a good facebook group that you can check out uh let's see is water okay girls girls please thank you is ladies okay is water the best moisturizer all youtubers says that what is your thought on that Water is a good moisturizer. However, I will tell you that you need to lock in that moisture with something. So if I spray a hair with water, a hair will feel soft, but the way moisture escapes our hair is not enough. So they always say water is a good moisturizer. You start off first with water and then you can work your way to using that oil. So you, use, you spray the hair with water, aloe vera juice. Is really good. I have found myself spraying. Tolani, tell them about aloe vera juice. Last week, can I see my thumb? Really quick? Okay, girls. Last week, she used aloe vera juice. Any other farabale? Farabale. Sorry. Sorry. Eh? Oh, yeah, Dubai. I thought you said this way. Eh, she But to bang bang kakiri ya ma meso. Okay. Show go me buy. Eh? No go. No go. Mhm. Shit. I'm going to go more green so. <laughs> Mobo, I know only by Jacob Bo. I spoke Mobo. <laughs> Mobo Lori Kinney. Mobo Lori Kinney. Anyway, okay. so, um, yeah, so you need to seal in. So if you use water and use uh, cream to lock it in, that is the best way. Or you can use water and a butter. If you don't want to use oil, just make sure that the butter that you use is infused with oils. Then you just kill one step. You can do LB method. <laughs> okay. Hey, Takara, Kara, Takara, you need to get an award because you've been in nearly all our live chats, even on my daughter's channel, you're a member of my daughter's channel, oh my goodness, girl, you're a member of our Facebook group, everywhere, even you, even Instagram, oh my gosh, I see you everywhere, thank you so much, darling, thank you so much, okay, does the iron part of the comb get loose easily, I don't understand, does the iron part, of what comb? What iron part? Oh, you mean the metal part? Do you? I don't know. Oh, where's my comb? Are you talking about this right here? Is that what you're talking about? I don't understand. Me, Miss um, Deborah, please, can you explain what you mean? Okay. 
Zach says, do you or any one of your daughter have low prostate here? My daughters don't. She has normal prostate. She has high prostate. And I have low prostate. So I'm the one that has low prostate. So ladies, almost midnight here. Oh, good night, soft bubble. Gonna love you and leave you. Oh, shall I see you doing your last year sitting like that? Reminds me of my mama. Oh, have a wonderful evening and have a wonderful day tomorrow. I think you got distraction. I didn't answer my question. Ooh. Sorry, oh. <laughs> sorry oh. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. So she says, at times, this is for the simply exclusive. My t at times, my daughter's here absorb water quickly. So I assume she's high prostate. Yes. Other times, I think it's low since it takes time to dry. Does the float method on clean hair, or it varies? Float method, it's on clean hair, but you can actually have different hair prostate and then hair prostate can change so if you look at the uh, high prostate section um you can see things that can change porosity in hair and then some people have some parts of the hair might be more susceptible to low prostate some parts might be more susceptible to high prostate so that's why you just have to understand your hair you just have to understand what works and what doesn't work and stuff so let's see um good night okay for special occasion what would be the best way to do my natural hair it depends on what occasion it is uh some people like when they go on weddings they do optus um i've been known to do like roller sets and then after doing the roller set i wrap up my hair and then it looks as if my hair is straightened <laughs> so um i have a playlist on wedding hairstyle so it's natural hair wedding oh tolani you left the light on in my bathroom please can you go and turn it off thank you so much okay so um and Elias here is so healthy her hair should do fine with silk press it might be a good idea to do an extra protein treatment before the silk press okay Ooh, did you want to do a silk press what is silk press? well google it oh. yeah I think, okay, so, Catherine, can people, if you have done a silk press before, please, can you explain, does that last longer than flat iron? Which one is much more damaging? <laughs> is flat iron more damaging than silk press? <laughs> because I don't want her hair to be damaged, though, because this girl will be crying, because she likes her hair, I don't even yeah. know. It's the case of the teenager, that's why it's pursuing her to straighten her hair, blah, blah, blah. But you know no, what? I just want to see how it is. Oh, you just want to see how it is? Okay. Ah. But you know something? Some people say, I just want to see how it is. But hopefully, it's not anything bad. Mm -hmm. It's here. Here we grow. <laughs> you know, and then sometimes you have to let them experience some stuff. Some stuff. Not every stuff. Because if, if you know, things like drugs and stuff. Mm -mm. Ew, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do you do? What do you do? What do you, how do you do your God forbid? God forbid. Do it again. Say God forbid. Do it Niger way. Oh yeah, say it the Niger way. Allah my Allah Yeah, Allah my Allah Hey, that's my Niger girl. Hey, eh? What? Allah my God forbid. God forbid. Oh, the metal part. Okay, this metal part. No, that. Okay, it depends. This one. I've had this for a long time. Um, I went to another beauty supply store. I bought one, I didn't know it was flimsy, and guess what? Within the second use, this flew out. I bought another one, the same thing happened. So what I'm doing is, this is an old one. I don't, I can't remember where I bought this from, but it has been serving us all this time, but I just wanted a backup, and the girls wanted their own, so I bought it in different colors. You know those ones that you get in a pack with different colors? Those didn't last long. So this one, if this gets lost in this house, some people, some people are gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Ooh, who are some people? I don't know. <laughs> who are some people? Okay. Um, let me see. I feel a difference in my luck since I started. Is it a good uh, so to Kara? Yeah, Kara, is it a difference, a good difference or a bad difference in your locks? Because I'm trying to people ask me questions about locks a lot. And um so it can give me an explanation to give them. So let's... 
was fine. And Ella was singing for us. No, that, I wasn't uh, really singing. So I was just like, time. What, what? I can play that on the clarinet. Oh, but you don't have clarinet here. It's Any? downstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you done singing? Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because I can't, like, body duro. Because I can't yeah. be doing your hair while you're singing. Unless people will start requesting for numbers. What song do you even know how to sing? Uh, yeah. I don't know. She knows how to sing every song. Every song? No, not every yeah, song. Yeah, she does. Okay. Tony, uh, what do you sing? Hey, okay. What cream do you recommend to lock in moisture? There are a lot of different creams. Um, I would say to lock in moisture. So let's say, even if you make shea butter, if you make your own shea butter, and you take the shea butter, you add some oils to it. So if you look at the DIY playlist, you'll see how to make shea butter. That is a good combination of oils and shea butter to lock in the moisture. Um, if you want to buy your own products, I like this also. This Kadima Curl Pudding, Curl Defining Pudding is good. Um, if you want other stuff that are less expensive or whatever, um, I do like Cream of Nature's um, Pure Honey Twisting Cream. That is also a good one. Uh, there's so many. You moved your head and now my... My breathing pattern is messed up. Not that we really care, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Wait, so, how long am I going to have this? You said a month now. But this you know. This style? Because I'm going to put. No, this style. No, no, just today. Because I'm going to put the crochet oh, okay. into. Later on tonight. Okay. Since you are not going to school tomorrow. Okay. Actually, been. Okay, so I should say so that. Tomorrow, I'm about to, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. So tomorrow I'm going to have the crochet. Yes, because tomorrow we have to meet with meet up with another YouTuber. So tomorrow we're meeting up with another YouTuber oh, and we're going shopping. Okay. So if you guys live in Houston, we're gonna be in the gla galleria tomorrow shopping. Well, I'm not shopping. The girls want to. Well, I mean, yeah. since I okay, what? No, nothing. Okay, tell about it. Okay, thank you. So I've actually because so I should say I'm actually be contemplating a big chop. I feel like I failed my hair. Oh, I just want yeah. to start over and pay more attention to it. Actually, join our Facebook group if you've not already joined it. Okay, we'll hold your hand throughout through yes. it, and you can, <laughs> and you can Send share, it. and then you can share pictures with us, and we'll encourage you. We'll help you. We'll help you. There's so many wonderful people on it. Okay, so the silk press. Somebody said this. So Ashley says the silk press is using flat iron, but it's super sil slick. Okay, so Sebo says silk press, I believe, is just another fancy way of saying flat iron. Okay, um, silk press. So, can you everybody saying to sue silk press? Okay, silk press is just a term for blow dry and flat iron. I think the term means that the hair is silk and then slick out when done. Okay, okay. So, I guess you want to do a silk press, right? I guess, I guess, okay. But there are some stylish who are special and they roll the hair on crawlers and put you under the stuff and do all that stuff. But again, don't let them trim. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, so I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, boy, if my hair needs to be trimmed because, see, I'm, I don't know. I've not trimmed her hair in a while. So if they have to trim my hair, but this lady I want to go to, she knows, she actually gives lectures. That's how good she is. She knows about coloring hair. So if you are someone that you want to color your hair, she knows about coloring, coloring hair. She knows a lot about natural hair. I just hope, because she's always so booked, because she's so good. And, um, oh, wow. yeah, I know. She's like a professional. Like, hair shows, they hire her to present at hair shows. That's how good she is. Um, I know she's going to be a tad more expensive than other places. But you know what? We're going to start saving our coins right now. <laughs> If she's over two hundred dollars, it's better than being with someone that you how don't much, even know. So, Eniola, how much would you pay? What's the most you pay to get your hair flat ironed? Uh, <laughs> I don't to, know how she much. She doesn't even know how much. I don't know how much they are. charge. Somebody said like to flat iron hundred dollars. I I don't know how much she will charge. So don't let me say. We'll talk to your father. Your father, your father will be like, okay, I'm going back to work. I'm going to make more money. <laughs> but anyway. And then Tolani was saying, oh, I want to get my hair done yet. I'm like, nope, you're not going to you get it. You should have asked earlier. No, no, no. I'm going to let your sister enjoy a moment. 
that is the thing when you have children of the same sex you know like female female male male um i always the younger one always wants to do what the older one is doing but i always want each child to have their moment of um what they call it um special glory. of glory you know i don't want because this is the first time in your life if i go to a hairstylist i want it to be in your last time you know my i don't time your time to shine you know i don't want it to be like oh me and my sister we did this together unless they want to but this kind of thing is like a rite of passage now that she knows how to pump gas put gas into <laughs> cars because your girl i am not getting out of the car when it's cold to put gas in there she wants to learn how to drive the first thing she's going to learn to do is put gas in the car so we have been working how many times have you done it now like two times yeah yeah so we are working on learning <laughs> oh how to pump belly, learning mm. how to put gas in the car the next thing we're going to learn how to do is how to sit in the driver's area how to open the door and sit in the driver's area and i think we'll do that for a month <laughs> and then the next thing is mm. how to touch the wheel <laughs> and we'll do that what pedals you know and then we'll do that for a year and then when she's 21 she'll start driving <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, this is not the angle. You, you are, your, your skin is fine. Oh, my glasses. Yeah. Okay. They have conditioner, <laughs> shampoo, all of it. I know. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Kadima. Yeah, Kadima, Kadima. Kadima. Oh, so Takara. So Takara. Takara oh, said, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not. Pro I'm just gonna call you. Takara says she <sighs> uses aloe vera juice. And we have a recipe for that. I just showed a video this last week on our locks and the aloe vera juice. She said the aloe vera juice helps our scalp rejuvenate and our roots are thicker. So it's thickening up our hair. So thank you so much for sharing your experience with aloe vera juice. Okay. Um, we have to make more. We make one a week. So we just finished the one that we've made and I bought another one. Whose turn is it to make aloe vera juice? I don't know. Thank you for hmm? telling and Ella, it's your turn to make aloe juice this week. It's fine. <laughs> She's like, how do I make it? I said, watch the video. You didn't, you've not been watching my videos, see? See, people, they say your family doesn't support you. Hmm? We support you. You support me, I know. Thank you, baby. By making videos with you. Yes, thank you for making videos with me. Um, okay, so Renisha says she's going to try kinky tresses. Oh, Linda says, was my previous comment removed? I can't see it. Okay, Linda um let me scroll through to see if i see your comment if your comment is removed i'll be able to know i don't i don't know i don't see your comment so linda can you please post your comment again because because i couldn't i can't see it please she post it i'm sorry see. too I can't. many people commenting uh -uh. <sighs> why are you talking to like that eh? okay okay so kiki traces i i've used kiki traces a long time ago and the product was pretty nice i mean i've not used it in years so i don't know if the formula has changed so and like now yeah, okay sorry. and tolani you're disturbing you're distracting are you distracting your sister okay have you done your homework mm -hmm. i don't have homework you don't have homework mm -hmm. okay what about oh, your homework God. i don't have homework have you sorted your laundry um yes i have you have sorted laundry i haven't hung my laundry now. no then you're not go and hang your laundry you don't want to hang it yet okay but you have to hang your laundry before you go to bed okay okay thank you what if i finish hanging up my laundry by eleven fifty nine? no 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 you are asleep by no you are asleep before then no just just wondering no 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 i'm just wondering mm -mm. but that's before the end of the day mm. <laughs> okay yeah what is this okay thank you moderators okay um so zach says my silk press wow so zach said this a silk press lasts a month okay we're doing silk press because i can't spend all that money what's and... half of 70 half of 70 35 right before six. yeah yeah anyway Hi, Linda. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. You've answered me via messaging, messenger before. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Linda. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you following us on all our platform. Really, really appreciate you. Okay. 
goes according to length. Okay. Um, are you teaching her to drive? <laughs> we are teach we are we are not driving yet. We are first learning about the cars. She's oh, gonna she's gonna probably learn how to do an oil change before she drives. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and she's gonna learn how to change tires, so I'm gonna guess change her daddy tires. To, yeah, doesn't someone do that for you? No, 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 you have to learn. What if you get no, stranded? No, does that for you, though. girls. I won't get stranded in Jesus' name, amen. But mm. still, that doesn't God say that be smart like serpent, you know? Don't be what like, what's a serpent? It's a, snake. a serpent, is a snake. Oh, yeah, oh, I forgot. Oh. So. Uh, my stomach keeps on rumbling my and jumbling. Friend? Where's my comb? Oh. 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 Sorry. Almost all of my friends are going to be in the spelling bee. No. I can't. Why are you not in the spelling bee? How do you spell bee? beautiful? Because I, I didn't know how to spell museum. Um, how do you spell museum? I spell... I spell -E you are my daughter and you do not spell museum. <laughs> ah, that's your what, world is listening. That's why I didn't how get do spell spelling museum? bee. Because how I do you spell, spell museum? museum? Spells museum. M-U-E... No, 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 no. I'm how not going to school. I'm not going to school. <laughs> how do you spell I've music? done my education. I've gone to my school. Hey, listen. It's I've music. done my how I've do gone to school. How no, wait. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I've it's got -E. I have gone to school. -E, right? I've gone to school. I've got my Sorry, GPA. I've know. got my how do you spell degree. museum? How do you no don't ask TV? Don't ask don't ask the <laughs> internet people. <laughs> Ah, these Mommy. children. I'm just Mommy. looking at hey, Barbara. Stop, stop, stop. These children do How not. How do you spell lollipop? No, don't ask me. I'm just How looking at Barbara. How do you spell museum? M U S U E. Ah! This girl has killed me. You guys see me? <laughs> see my a, face? I have to hide my face from now on. I have to hide my face. I'm just looking at Barbara. Look at I'm looking at I can't even talk anymore. See? I can't. I can't. Mommy, spell lollipop. No, you spell museum. Mommy, spell lollipop. M U S E U M. Uh -huh. ah. See, that's why. Is there a way for us to delay that footage of her not knowing how to spell? See, me. this is why I didn't join the spelling bee because I'm not good at spelling. <laughs> Can you not know how to spell <laughs> museum? Ah. <laughs> okay, show Lodo now. Show Lodo near. You don't know what Olodo? <laughs> ah. Olodo. What's the song? Olodo Rapata. Oh, Lodo Rapata. Oh, Joya Lodo. Mommy, do you know how to spell Lodo? Oh, no, Jacob Joe Lodo. Museum. Spell it again. M U S. Oh, God. E U M. For the people at the back, I want you to spell it loud. Oh, yeah, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, but. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, yeah. Don't. Stand up. Oh, yeah. Spell it loud so that people in um, India can hear. M U S. Ah, I can't hear you. M U. I can't hear. Uh, M U. Oh, I'm not even in this family, so this doesn't, this doesn't mean anything. Oh my gosh, Tolani! Oh. Plus, I knew my friends were gonna get in because it was my three friends, and they're like the smartest. I was like, oh, how many heads do your friends have? Um, nine. How many uh, heads? Do you, I'm talking about one friend, one of your friends. How many heads does that friend have? Nine. One friend has nine heads. <laughs> yeah. If your friends have two heads, they is have that nine why? heads. I'm That's talking about what... one friend. Yeah, one friend has nine heads. Tolani, whoa. <laughs> one friend has nine friend heads. Friend Jack Banemi. Eh? Uh, your friend has it. one head. You have no, one head. No, she has nine heads. Eh, eh. You are talking back to me. Your okay. friend has one head. You have one head. Your friend can spell museum. You are here in front of the whole internet people. <laughs> And you can't even spell museum. You you failed it so many times. Go and get your paper. Go and get paper and pencil. Go and get one, two. You think it's because I'm in front of people that I won't discipline you? One, two. Oh yeah, sit over there. Oh yeah, write museum. How many times? Ah, uh, fifty. From the top to the bottom of the paper. Front and back. Front. Ah, good girl. Front and back. <laughs> I don't have a pencil. There's a pencil, uh, everything there's stomach. pen. Stand up, sit down in that corner, uh, and I don't want you, hold your mouth, fam, 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 fam. And I'll allow you to you, right? No, something no, like. no oh, pens. Yeah. There's paper over there. I but want you to. No write. pens. Go and find pen. In this whole house, you can't find pen. Eh? 
Oh yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to hear from you until you finish writing museum <laughs> and I'm being serious about this. Okay. Eh? How many times? Front and back? Front and back. And you better not write it big. <laughs> because I don't wear two glasses. Okay? My you stomach. People, I'm sorry, we're being real. It's you eat stomach. after we finish doing your hair. Eh? When can you I keep write your... in yellow? How can you write in yellow? Are you yellow? It's a mark. You're a black person, so you write with a black pen. Go downstairs and go and find a pen. Tolani or or to soft me yik. Sensible words, black, write in black, black pencil. Or you find two B pencil. Find two B pencil and write. Or you find pen, big pen. It has to be big pen. Big is for beautiful, beautiful handwriting. Oh yeah, go and write. Museum. Ah, John. What? Eh? What do your father say? Eh? With all the money we spend on education. Well, you guys go to public school. <laughs> Ah, my goodness. You people look at these children. A museum. Do you want me to write my name on it first? Ah. What? Do you want me to write my name on it? Eh, write your name on it so that your sister doesn't say she's the one that wrote it. Why are you looking at my journal? It's Tolani. pretty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, how are you? I mean, says museum. She spelled it. She spelled it how many? Do you, I mean, you see how many times? How many times did she mess it up? Hmm. This one. When she goes back to school, after eating turkey on Thanksgiving, she'll be able to spell the biggest museum. What's that thing? It means sonium or whatever. Ah, you are talking back again. I don't want to hear from you until you finish talking. You're finished doing museum. Look at this girl. Yeah. Ah, we have fun, no? Hmm. Oh, bye, Sebo. Bye. Have a good week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Taki, taki, taki. Gabu, gabu, gabu. Gabu, gabu, gabu. <laughs> You guys can see the pattern, right? Okay. That's the crochet pattern. This is my favorite crochet pattern. Okay. And I got this pattern from Sheon. Her channel is called Sheon. Um, I don't remember her last name. She has she has relaxed hair, but she does a lot of crochet videos. Her videos are really good. So Sheon ok Okin. Oh, I can't remember her last name. If anybody watches her channel, please let me put her name on there. It's called Sheon OK something. Oh, something. I know she's Yoruba. So I'm just detangling her hair, walking in section. Detangling in section. Okay. I'm from Canada. Eh, hey, is it cold? <coughs> <It's all learning. coughs> yes. Keep on writing. Why are you frowning face? Eh? I, I've done five ah, lines. Keep on writing. Keep on writing. So, um, please, some of the questions that's passed. Okay. Let me look at the questions that we've missed. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, so Dora says, are you teaching her to drive? We will eventually be teaching her to drive, not right now. Okay. Okay, so Tucker says, laugh out loud. Me and my brother are different gender set of twins. Oh, wow. It has been so weird. Oh. Okay, so Linda. Linda, this is your question. Linda says, I'm the white mom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you, Linda. I'm the white mama with mixed race girl from Scotland. I bought the swimmer car for my daughter based on your recommendation, and it works well. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Linda, I do remember you. I remember that you are struggling with your daughter's hair because of swimming, and I'm so glad. I'm really happy that the swimmer cap, you guys, the swimmer cap is the best swimming cap. Oh gosh, I hear it's just so tangled here. So let's stop. Let's detangle it well. Um, the swimmer cap is I the best. The okay, turn to the other end. The swimmer cap is the best one for natural hair. Especially when you're swimming. And when your kids swim a lot, then um, yeah. I'm so glad it works well for you. Thank you so much. So Maria says, how much homework do your young girls get? Well, my daughters are older now. Um, so the homework they get, usually like my like my this one that is, is in high school so i think the homework she gets a lot of homework right anyla uh -huh. they said how much homework do you get um well thanksgiving homework is a lot right now yeah she gets okay and since i'm okay, pre, okay. Uh -huh. oh since i'm pre-ap it's more than everyone else yeah so she's ap so she gets a lot more homework uh, my daughters are in like gift oh my goodness <laughs> Okay, you guys cannot see it, but she wrote museum very big. Anyway, at least now you know how to write museum. Okay, spell museum. M U S 
E U N. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So yeah. clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. The Nigerian way. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Can I show them my drawings? Well, they won't be able to see because of the light. Well, okay. I can, still, can I still show them? No, they can't say it through the light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elizabeth says, How old will Eniola be when you teach her to drive? Um, right now, it's she's going to be, <laughs> I don't know, maybe 16. <laughs> but I take my driver's license test when I'm 16. Okay, she's going to be 15. She's still 15. She's 15 right now, so she'll probably learn how to drive this summer. Since it's cold outside, it doesn't snow, but she'll start learning how to drive in the summer. In the summer. Mm -hmm. So, do you ever trim their ends? Yes, I do. I haven't trimmed it in a while, and I think that's probably why it's tangling so much. Um, you can look in the playlist um, called Trimming Natural Hair. You can see how I trim their hair. I need to put more cream here. But, yeah, but their hair, mm. I think her hair needs to be trimmed. Yeah, I think it does need to be true. Oh, Tolan is showing you all what she's drawing. All that drawing. And this is the journal. She draws so, girls. I just finished painting the journal. It used to be Harry Potter on it. But now it's not. Is it not my journal? You said I can have oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, they said those drawings are really good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So the channel is called Shell. So it's called Shell. So I'm getting more oil. So that's why you see me going off. I'm putting more oils on the, the ends of her hair. Yeah, okay, good job. Oh, someone says, good, great job, Tolani. You're you. a great artist. Thank you. Will you vlog your uh, practicing driving? Yes, of course. We'll be vlogging everything. Since we've been vlogging our family life since 2014. And 2014, how old were you? Um, 10. And you're like, no, you're, yeah, she was, since she was, no? No, I was nine. Since she was nine. So we've been, the comb, the comb has disappeared again. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So we've been vlogging it. So we'll, we'll vlog it. We'll even vlog when she gets married. <laughs> yeah. And when she has her babies, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when in your life, when Tolani has her first date with a boy. Well, you're going to vlog my date? Yes, I'll be behind the trees with my camera, paparazzi. What if there is no trees? Well, behind the flowers. What if we're at a restaurant okay. and there is no flowers? Okay, Tolani, that, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is I'll empty. be vlogging. Yeet. What else will I? I'll vlog everything. Even in Ilana, we'll be discussing how we'll do the vlogging when she's in college. In how many more years? Three more years. Like we're gonna that we're gonna have like drop box, like put videos and since I'm not gonna have much to do, I'm just gonna be compiling the videos. So like any last first day in college. Yay. I'm so excited mm. about all that. Well, and you mean? guys are all gonna be with us, right? Right, right? Some of you no, have been with us since no, does no, that hurt? No. Some not of this video. Wait, tell me stop it. Stop it, Joe. Okay. Some of you have been with us since okay, so someone says Oh my gosh, is she a freshman or a sophomore? She's I'm a, a freshman. She's a freshman in high school right now. So, <laughs> Tolani, you will have to teach me. I can't draw like you. Oh, yeah, Tolani, you should do a video on your drawing. No. She said no. <laughs> I don't like recording. Yeah, she doesn't even like recording. She's my shy girl when she wants to. So, thank you. Hey, Royalty Cosmo. Royalty Cosmo, she's... So, you guys doing weddings and stuff. She's, she has wedding videos. Um, also, she started doing reaction videos. So, check her out. Um, I draw and I do poetry with it. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, so I'm putting some more cream. Okay. So, and she's my... Yeah, she... So, anyway, um... Are you teaching her yourself how to drive? <laughs> it could be me and I. I don't know if I have patience for that. I think I'm going to teach her some. 
but I don't know if she's going to go to driving school. Me and her dad, we've not actually talked about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> because we've been focused more on fixing our roof on other stuff. We finally fixed our roof from the hurricane and stuff. Yeah, and that was the day that, you know, someone nearly killed me. If you've not seen... If you've not seen... Yeah, I didn't tell you about it. Sorry. Well, yeah, you did. I just... Oh, if you've not seen the video, check it out on our family channel, DN Vlogs Live. Um... This video is called Kicked Out. Yeah, because we got kicked out. Okay. Anyway. Do this braces... Okay, Tolan, and you're not talking about your braces. Your braces, do they hurt? Mm, no. Well, when I first... It depends on how much pain you can. Can't tolerate. Yeah, it. that you can tolerate. But, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really hurt. Tolani, does your braces hurt? Whenever yeah. you first get them, yeah, for like a couple, like... A week but then the yeah. next week it was like ah. Oh. and if you're a parent and what your is child is going to be doing braids getting braises give them ice cream uh don't give them ice cream yes you can yeah give them ice and they'll cream. be eating and you'll be eating a lot of oatmeal <laughs> but my thing is this at their school if the school allows like tolani has in the nurse's office she has a name on the bottle of tylenol because there are sometimes that after you've got the braises put in they might have pains and yeah the school is gonna call you <laughs> so the school kept on calling me oh it's this and she has so one day i just called the school and i said ah, can i just leave a bottle of tylenol they're like oh it has to be a brand new bottle so you can't bring an old bottle from um your house and bring it over last Until one night, thank you for stuff stuff in, stuff in it. it yeah so i had to go to the shop i'm like oh no problem so i had to go to the store and I had to go and buy brand new Tylenol, you know, the good stuff, not the, it could be name brand, it could be store brand, I don't know. I just want the new, you know, because I want to be bougie like that, even though I'm a cheap bougie, bougienne. <laughs> so I went and I bought the, I'm careful, I went and I, Eniola, Eniola, Sorry. can you, this is the last one, this is the last one. Oh. I went I and I bought the Tylenol, put her name on it, and so whenever she has pain they don't call me anymore <laughs> they all say okay and you're telling me go to the nurse's station have they i'll use it on you um twice okay so she just goes to the nursing station and then you keep that in the school for the whole school year i'm trying to move she has some shedded hair that is like tangled with um normal hair okay totally as my same i had to free form to get it to lock okay What's written on Eniola's t-shirt? Eniola, what's written on your t-shirt? Um, eat, sleep, clarinet, repeat. Because yeah. I play the clarinet. Because she plays clarinet, so she and has a lot of... Shirt she has like, clarinet shirts. It's like so cringy, I know, but... <laughs> it's not yeah. cringy, it's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay. can you put your... Y'all follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. No, follow me follow on me Instagram. On, follow, follow, all of us. follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Show them my Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Instagram, yeah. Discovery Natural. Follow me on Instagram, boys. Follow me. No, which boys? <laughs> boys better not follow you. Uh -huh. I know, I know boys who follow me. Okay, follow me on Instagram, Discovery Natural. Can you go to our Instagram page? Oh mm -hmm. gosh, mm -hmm. see you girls have confused me. I don't even know how to come away anymore. One boy, he like kind of. Which boy? I'm the one that manages your Instagram page. Why haven't I seen him? Anyway. Yeah, he follows me. Like, it's nothing. Okay. Okay, Nola. Last one. Okay. Um, I love your videos. Oh, Moji Shola. Ah, Moji Sola. Oh, my friend. Moji Sola. Olofin Jimmy. Olofin Jimmy. Yeah, I like, like your name. Write oh. your page name. Okay, so Instagram is... Let me put... Discovery Natural. <laughs> Um, then girl. anyway, girls, Sorry. last one, last one. Yeah. So, Discovery Natural, anyway, boys, for me. okay. What do the kids want to be when they grow up? Or sit down. Okay, and you're like, therapist. First. That's and you're like, first. A therapist. Wait, or, wait, your oh. sister first. I wanted to be an orthodontist, but she or wants a to be therapist. an therapist. She wants to be I an other tongue. Or the one that orthodontist. do the teeth. Yeah. So that I can get all the money back from the braces that mm. I've been using, that I've been spending. And then Tolani used to want to either, be a lawyer. Either, either a, lawyer, a lawyer, a therapist, or a, psycho a psychologist. Spell psychologist. 
<laughs> so don't worry, don't stress yourself. It's Sunday. I'll give you a free pass. Don't stress yourself. I know what it's supposed to be. Don't, don't embarrass me. Don't stress but I yourself. Know what it's, ah, it's okay, it's okay. I know what it's I know you know. I know I know you know. I know I know you know. I know you know. You can spell museum now. No, P. No. Ah, <laughs> me. Anyway, okay. Let's, somebody else is asking a question. I R A S T. Mm. Okay. See, I smelled it right. Okay. I want to be either. Oh, so Moji Sola said she wants to be. She wants to be either a pilot or a doctor. Ah, doctor. <laughs> my youngest brother wanted to be a pilot, and my dad, my parents were like, um, no, because you can crash. And, I, and now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, maybe you should have been a pilot because now their trip will be free. Instead of us spending so much money when they come in. <laughs> oh my goodness, people, we are on the last one and I'm just twisting Can the ends no, of no. it. Shalani, somebody says, she can spell it. <laughs> Give her a chance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Tolani is very funny. Yeah, Tolani can be funny. But she's kind of those ones that she'll be funny, but then she'll be serious at the same time. And then when you laugh, you'll be like, am I <gasps> supposed to laugh? Am I not supposed to laugh? Ouch. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, Enela, remove your computer. We have to show your hair fully. Okay, so this is the hairstyle. So this is for the corn roll, for the uh, passion twist. So remember, Enela, we took it brought it down like this so the way you do it before you start if you've never watched the whole video i'm going to give a quick summary the pattern we use is a pattern we got from a channel called sheung s-e-u-n we love our videos we support her um she doesn't have natural hair but she does lovely job on protective styles so when you want to start this style on your children's hair or on your own hair you can flat twist or you can curl roll you want to start by sectioning the hair to this slanted position. You see how I slanted it? Oh, girls, girls, please. So I slanted the hair. So this was one section, this was another section. Then when you con roll, you start off like this. Make sure the con roll is not too tight. You can see my finger can go in. That's how, because I don't want the crochet to be too tight on our hair. Now this one is a bit big. So what we did was that we con roll the hair going all the way down like that. We started from here we ended in the crown area okay the crown area i'm not making it too tight because this is our area that she's much um gets drier she's more sensitive in this area so this one is like that and then we now went further and we brought it starting from the center crown area we walked our way down 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 until any other place mm -hmm. until we're done thank you so much oh, well, and until we were done so she just went we went all the way down like this so this is the pattern um what we're gonna do with the very end when we're ready to to crochet the hair since the hair is loose right now i'm gonna leave it right now we're gonna go and have i guess supper <laughs> yeah. um lunch supper um so the ends of the hair i'm going to add spray it with some aloe vera juice or even if you don't have aloe vera juice you can spray it with some water again and then I'm gonna seal it in thoroughly. So what I'm gonna do with the ends of the hair when I have my crochet hook, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna loop that in there. So what will happen is the whole hair, try when you loop it, don't put too much tension on this area. So I'm gonna just make it loose and I'm just gonna loop everything up. So eventually, when we loop everything, it will be something like this. I don't want this to be too bulky, so I might have to sweep it across. Sometimes I will sweep it across so that it's not too bulky, okay? We're still gonna work out the logistics of that, but right now my brain is tired, my mouth is tired. So we're gonna go eat, um, yeah. So that is it, uh, let's see, somebody said, have you ever thought about silk press for them or is just natural hair? Uh, if you were in the discussion earlier on, she wants to get her hair straightened, so that's going to happen. Um, we've never straightened their hair, silk press, anything like that. But she's at an age right now that she wants to be adventurous. So um, it's something that I'm not like, no, 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 never, never, never. Uh, they're their own people. They learn, you know. So that will be happening soon, and you'll be seeing a video. I'm going to do a video on how 
I hear God silk press. I am not going to silk press the hair myself because I don't have the expertise to do it and I don't want to damage their hair. So we'll be going to a professional, natural hairstylist. Thank you so much. If you've not given this video a thumbs up, please give it a thumbs up. If you've never subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, Discovery Natural Channel, and also our family channel, DM Vlogs Life. If you enjoy our family and you want to get to know us more, what we do, what I cook for lunch. And I believe that's it. Thank you so much for watching, girls. Say bye to them. Take bye. To <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. And this is my face. Ah. Oh, it's so bright. Why is it so bright? Okay, bye. 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 Ooh.